guys, Robert Bat one here coming at you with a new Yu-Gi-Oh video and in today's Yu-Gi-Oh video we are talking about a topic that isn't the best topic to talk about in Yu-Gi-Oh but it's something I feel like I have to address at this point because it's getting to a point where it's just not enjoyable, it's not fun and what am I talking about? The competitive scene. Yu-Gi-Oh competitively right now is the most boring piece of crap ever. Like, honestly, guys, there are many reasons for this, and there's many options to talk about, but let's talk about, let's, let's just first say why I'm wanting to talk about this. Well, as of recently, I've been playing in a lot of LLDSs, a lot of locals, a lot of casual play, and a lot of online play. I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! quite a lot because I want to get ready for LLDSs that I'm going to. I want to get ready for the YCS London coming up next month. I want to get ready for all of it. And even though we don't have a ban list yet, I still want to get ready for it in case we don't get that ban list by then. So I've been putting in a lot more time to test for these events and attempt to get invites to like the LLDS um, finals in which I believe will be at YCS London as well and all of that and it's gotten to the point where I'm finding com competitive Yu-Gi-Oh to be the most boring Air scene of Yu-Gi-Oh there is. Casual Yu-Gi-Oh is still really fun because I can mess around with decks like Dark Magicians, Heroes, Karibo, um, uh, like any decks that are just casual decks that I can have fun with, like um, just in general, like Heroes, Dark Magician, uh, Karibo, as I said, Crystal Beasts, if I'm online, like just decks that are really fun to play with, but not really competitive, like I can have a lot of fun with those. But in reality, um, when I'm playing competitively, the game is just stale, and there's a few reasons for this, like one is that the game is just full full of like extra link pass another one is that it's just full of make a board of negates pass another one is i burn you pass like there's just so much decks out there right now in the competitive scene that just don't do anything but build a board and tell you to not do anything and that's one of the reasons that i wanted to talk about this because these may the main offenders of this the main offenders that make these boards of negates these boards of extra links these boards of burns um would be trickstar sky striker oh just all it does all trickstar sky striker does is literally gain a ton of advantage burn you to death and possibly make a mech knight if you're playing the mech knight engine like that's all the deck really does and also scapegoat borrow load pass <laughs> um and that's and it's just like what's the point what's the point in this why am i playing you if you're not going to play an interactive game like that deck isn't interactive whatsoever and the, maybe like the most interactivity it has is when it maybe activates a I don't know, Widow Anchor to negate my my Karibo, for instance. I don't know, um, just to take it and gain some damage on me. Like that's the most interactivity interactivity that deck has, and that's a boring. The next deck, um, and also these decks can be fun to play, guys. I'm not going to say that they're not fun to play. I'm not going to say that they're 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 boring to play. But these decks are boring to play against. And that's one of my points that I wanted to make in this video as well. Like when you're playing competitively, you've got to know what to play against and what's fun to play against. And currently the matchups in this format are not a fun matchup to play against. Like sure there are fun some fun matchups such as mirror matches that can go back and forth, but in general the game has just gotten to a point where it's not fun to be in a mirror match to be fun in a mirror match in play against any decks. Like it's gotten to that point as well, which is another point I wanted to make. But another offender to this and I hate to say it but is magicians like magicians are very boring to play against because they do two things magicians do two things to play against and i personally enjoy playing the deck but i'm not gonna lie in saying that if my opponent makes the um the board the vortex negate board with the jackal the jackal the vortex and an fa on orito that's not enjoyable and honestly 
I can understand a lot of people's hate towards that if they're not going to enjoy it because that is not an enjoyable situation and it's not an enjoyable game to play as well because say you like I personally enjoy playing the deck I know it's boring to play against and that's why I wanted to mention this because if you're in a mirror match against magicians all that all I'm going to do if I win the die roll and that's another thing it's a die roll format it's a die roll format but if I win the die roll I'm going to proceed to make a board of deco talker uh, Vortex Dragon, F.A., and, uh, Jackal King, with at least one negate, and that's a five negate board, that can negate your entire hand if you have cards that target, and that's a big problem with the game, when you can just make a board like that, and your opponent can't do anything. Like, that's one of the problems with the game right now. Like, there's a lot of boards that are just very boring and not entertaining to play with. Like, even against Goki, which is boring to play and to play against, um, you've got decks that... You've got the extra link that, that all the deck does. Extra link. It makes a sword. A sword summons uh, Octo Stretch. You summon Head Bat from your hand. And then you make a Goblin or a Dog. And then... You just go into Firewall and continue to play on until you have a whole U-board with a Trigate and you can't even target them, you can't destroy them, you can't um, do anything to them other than a Kaiju, of, other than a Kaiju, a Lava Golem, or a Rust Fear Mode, which are in your side deck. So if you lose the die roll to that, it's boring to play against. Like, literally, competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! right now is one of the most boring things in Yu-Gi-Oh! And I really wanted to say that, because it's stale, it's boring, it's dull. And honestly, at the way it's going, I feel if we don't get a ban list soon or anything like that, it's just going to get worse and worse. Like, honestly, I'm considering not even playing in tournaments right now. Not even going to my LLDSs to go into to top to give you guys a deck profile and give you guys, show that I've got a deck that works really well. Or just to, just to go to top and go to the LLDS finals, which would be really fun. But I'm just getting to that point where it's like, I don't even want to bother. I don't even want to play because it's just so boring and so un unmotivating that it's not even worth my time to do it. And that's something I really wanted to bring across because when you're in a format where you either make a board of negates, a board of burn, or a board that you can't be broken by anything but a kaiju, it's not fun. It really is not fun. It just feels boring, stale, and not even worth the effort to play the game. And if you won the die roll and you were able to get to this point, congratulations. We go to game two. And then if I can't, if I brick or I don't draw a way to out your extra link or you have the hand trap to stop me, then it's just not fun. Like even, like even hand traps in general. Hand trap formats were more entertaining like than this. Spiral format was more entertaining than this because you could at least do something after the after the sleeper was was just used. You could do something after that, but you can't now. And it's like, what is the point? What's the point in playing a game where you're either going to build a board of negates, build an extra link, or burn me and maybe build some negates as well with a scapegoat and a borrow load? What's the honest point? What is the point? Like, even if you're playing against pure Sky Strikers, even if you're playing against that, that is still stale because all they do is set five, have a Shizuku, search, oh, I've removed the Shizuku, summon the Ray from Graveyard. So use the Ray effect, summon Kagari. Kagari recycles something from Graveyard. Oh, you're trying to do something? I'm going to negate it with my Widow Anchor. Like, this game has gotten to the point where it's just dull to play competitively. Casual, I still have a lot of fun in it. I still have a great amount of fun in casual play. But competitive, it is just dull, it's boring, it's not worth the time. But, guys, that's all I really have to say. Like, casual play is a lot more fun, and I'm just, and it's like starting to get to that point where you don't even want to play competitively because of it. Um, you're having, there's loads of boring games that you're going to have. Like, as I said in another video, you might as well just, you should be always be carrying a casual deck because competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! gets boring, competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! is stale right now, and you need to fix that. So, honestly, guys, tell me what you think of this subject in the comment section below. Do you think Yu-Gi-Oh! right, the competitive scene of Yu-Gi-Oh! right now is stale? Do you think it's boring? Do you think it's out of order? Do you think we need the ban list to fix this shite? Um, tell me all of that in the comment section below, because I want to hear your opinions and thoughts. But yeah, guys, 
As I said, tell me what you think in the comment section below of this. Um, if you liked the video and want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos like this, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe button to be subscribed to the channel for more future Yu-Gi-Oh! content. Um, and if you want to be notified to the channel to get be notified of any videos or streams that I do, and the streams are normally at 8 p.m. UK time, don't forget to press the notification button as well, guys, because, you know, come watch the streams. I have fun, we just talk a lot, and we just enjoy ourselves on the stream. But yeah, guys, that's the video. Competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! is stale as hell, and I will see you guys next time. Robot1, signing out. Later, guys. Konami, give us a ban.